Hey guys, um, this video is going to go over your homework for you that you have tonight. Um, we're going to be looking at converting customary units of length. So I went ahead and I put some notes on my paper to help me as I work on the homework. So you can see over here, I've got my um, conversion uh, chart. So I've written down that there are 12 inches in a foot. There are three feet in a yard and there are 520 feet or 5,280 feet or 1,760 yards in a mile. I do not expect for you to memorize this. I will always give this to you on a test or a quiz. But since it wasn't written on the homework and I can't show you my math journal, I went ahead and wrote it here. I also wrote down our two chants, big to small, multiply them all, small to big, divide that pig. So I went ahead and wrote those down to remind me. Even though we are now looking at the customary units of measurement, we're going to do the same thing we did with the metric unit. We still look at our conversion equation. So let's look at the first one. We have five miles and we want to figure out how many yards that will be. So again, we're going to look at our units, miles to yards, and we're going to ask ourselves, am I going from big to small, or am I going from small to big? Well, I know that miles are much bigger than yards, so I know that I'm going from big to small, which means that I'm going to have to multiply. So I'm going to take that 5 and I'm going to multiply it. But what am I going to multiply it by? I'm talking about miles and yards, so I'm going to head up here to my conversion chart, and I'm going to find where it talks about miles and yards. Okay, well, this talks about one mile. Well, there are 1,760 yards in a mile, so that's what I'm going to have to multiply by, 1,760. Again, this is why we don't like the customary units as much as we like the metric units, because we have to do real math. It's not just about moving that decimal anymore. But luckily, this isn't hard math. It's something that we can easily do. So I'm going to reach over here to my whiteboard, because I don't have enough room to do it on my homework. And I'm going to do 1,760. And I'm going to multiply that by 5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3, 35, 36, 37, 38, carry that 3. 5 times 1 is 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I have an answer of 8,800. So let's go back over here to our homework, and I see that 5 miles is equivalent to 8,800 yards. Okay, let's look at the next one. Seven yards equals how many inches? I'm going from yards to inches. I'm going from big to small, so I'm going to need to multiply it seven times. So what am I going to multiply it by? Let's go up here and look. Going from yards to inches, so I need to find where it talks about yards and inches. Well, I have yards and feet, but I don't have anything that talks about yards and inches. So does that mean that I'm stuck? Does it mean I can't move on? No, not at all. It means I just have to do a little bit more math. So let's go up here to my conversion chart. Three feet are in one yard. Well, I know that every foot has 12 inches in it. So if I have one foot, I have 12 inches. If I have two feet, I have 24 inches. If I have three feet, I have 36 inches. So I can also say that one yard equals 36 inches. So that's what I'm going to have to multiply seven by. Multiply it by 36 because there are 36 inches in a yard. So I'm going to head over here, erase that. All right, so I've got 36 times 7. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry that 4. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25. So the answer is 252. So 7 yards is equivalent to 252 inches. All right, let's look at number 3. 150 inches equals how many yards? I'm going from inches to yards. Well, I know that inches are on a ruler, and yards, um, well, let's see, they talk about yard lines in the 
football games. So yards are a lot bigger than inches. So I'm going from small to big, so I'm going to have to divide. So I've got 150, and I'm going to divide it. Well, what am I going to divide it by? We're talking about inches and yards, so let's go up here to my um, table. Yards, inches. So I'm going to divide it by 36 because there are 36 inches in a yard. So I'm going to do 150 divided by 36. So let me set up my problem. 36 into 150. Okay. Well, I know that I can't do 100 because that'd be way too big. I can't do 10 because that would be too big. That'd be 360. So let's go down. Let's go to five. Let's go halfway, right? 36 times five. Well, five times six is 30. Five times three is 15, 16, 17, 18, 180. Nope, that's too big. All right, well, let's see. Eight. Let's try down to um, four. Okay, we'll just go one lower. Four times six is 24. Four times three is 12, 13, 14. Well, that's 144. Well, that I can fit into 150. So I'm going to multiply 36 by four, and it's going to give me 144. Let's subtract it out. Make that into a 4, make that into a 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. Everything else is 0, which means that I have 6 left over. So I have 4 holes, so that 4 is going to represent 4 yards. Well, what is this 6 left over? This is 6 out of the 36 inches. That would make my next yard. So it's 4 yards and 6 inches because that's what I have left over. So when I go back over here, I see that it's going to give me four yards and 30, oops, not 30, and six inches, excuse me. All right. So hopefully that gives you just a little bit of an understanding of your homework for tonight. Go ahead and do the rest on your own, and we'll go over them in class tomorrow. All right, see you then.